got homeless people here and they should be put first. They should be ones that are on that barge. They've used it elsewhere to house British troops, so what's good enough for them should be good enough for migrants or illegal immigrants. They should be called. Where's the young women? If they've come from war-torn countries, where are the women? Where are they? It's all young men. I can see why people are highly opinionated. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. I've got an ice cream to finish, it's starting to melt, all right? There's another place near where we live where they're, they're, I think they're moving them as well. So yeah, similar. And how's that been received in the community? I think it's been received quite negative, but it's only probably the, the racist people that I think are saying it. But yeah, it doesn't affect me. I think it's good. It doesn't seem like a functional idea to me. There's been quite a lot of concerns about fire safety as well in the barge. Yeah, safety in other regards too, but I wouldn't want to be on a barge outside uh, a small town like this. Um, I know there's concerns. Um, I don't live here, right here, but it's an odd idea. I know what the barge is, but they've used it elsewhere to house British troops, so what's good enough for them should be good enough for migrants or illegal immigrants. They should be called. Do you think that um, the Conservative government's approach to immigration at the moment is right? I don't think any government we've had in the past 20 years has been the right for immigration, do you? What, what do you think the solution should be? I haven't got any solutions, so I'm not a politician. We vote them in to think for us, don't we? Are they thinking in the, way, in the vein that you'd like them to think? Not particularly. Do you have any recommendations for them of what to do about the... <laughs> I'm not intelligent enough to give my views. It is an absolutely shameful thing. I think the whole that and the Rwanda thing, it's appalling. We are a nation of migrants and there's hardly, hardly probably anybody that lives in the UK that doesn't originally come from somebody who migrated here. Uh, we absolutely should open our doors and people keep going on about, there was mentions about, oh, well if they're illegal, I heard somebody on the news yesterday said, but if they're illegal we've got to put them somewhere. They're not illegal, they are migrants from somewhere. I mean, what would people feel? I'm a teacher and I often speak to my kids about this. I say, how would you feel if something suddenly happened here? Really suddenly, you didn't expect a war, something, and we wanted, and we had to send our children somewhere. We had to flee somewhere. Wouldn't we expect to be seen with open arms? What would you do with the people on the barge then? Uh, I would return the boat back to where they come from. I don't think the barge moves. I think or it's a... their boats or whatever they come on. on. So. What about yourself, sir? We should look after our own first, yeah. really should. I was watching the other day a programme from Preston where they got a swimming pool. They need £250,000 a year to keep that pool going. They've got to shut it because they can't afford it. And we are spending £6 million a day on these. They're illegal immigrants as far as I'm concerned. Send them back where they come from. 40% of them don't even come from countries what's uh, at war or nothing. They from, come from peaceful countries like Albania. So, uh, plus the fact, they're supposed to, when they come through a peaceful country, they're supposed to stop at the first peaceful country they come to. And every day they're, good, they're traveling through Italy, France, and then up here because they know Britain's a soft touch. It could be used for something else. What would you use it for? Well, putting some homeless people in or. You know, helping them and getting them something to, to live instead of living on the streets. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't think people should come into this country and have things given to them uh, left, right and centre when there's other people living on the streets in this country that we don't look after. We've got homeless people here and they should be put first. They should be ones that are on that barge. Our homeless people... And um, because it's only going to make our country suffer. I do feel sorry for the people on the barge the ones that need that, but um, well, we've got to look after our own first. Do you think the Home Office or do you think the government were right to put the barge there in the first place? No, I don't. And I think they should have, they should have consulted people first. I would imagine the majority would say no, because this is a very small town. Portland's even smaller. <laughs> There's a lot of poverty here, right? It's not a rich town and yet they put um, all these 500 men into a small infrastructure and um, we struggle to see doctors, dentists, hospital appointments, 
you know, it hasn't been the same since um, the pandemic. And I think people have a right to worry. From what I've read on, on various posts, a lot of people have cancelled. Cancelled coming here. Maybe they're, maybe they're wary about it as well. I don't know. But to be honest, I mean, I just think it was done behind people's backs. And I think they should have been more open and honest. Do you make of Suella Braverman using language like invasion or Lee Anderson, the deputy chair of the Tory you party? can't possibly record or print what I would say about her. What do you think about Suella Braverman, then the Home Secretary? Do you think she's making the right decision, putting them on the barge? No, she should be sending them back where they come from. No, I do, I do agree. She's trying her hardest. But there's too many do-gooders trying to stop her from doing what she really wants to do, and our government of the day. Do you worry that there are some people, maybe from war-torn countries, who've been mixed in? Yes, there probably is, isn't there? There probably is. But then there's a legal way of doing things, isn't there? There's a legal way. These boat people, a lot of people are making a lot of money out of that. That's the ones who want to go after and stop these boats coming across. We've got to stop it coming here. How long can we go on taking in? 15,000 this year so far? How long can we go on taking, 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 taking in people before we're just overwhelmed? So what should the government be doing? Well, obviously, you've got to take some in, but I think we just take access in because the, the know it's a soft touch. France and Italy would not be giving these uh, people the money and uh, the housing and putting them up wherever they are. But uh, I see it's just a tough touch, Britain. They are migrants coming from wars torn countries, from places where they, you can't find somewhere to sleep, eat, drink, find fresh water. You know, we should be looking after these people. Do you think it's innately British to help out people from war torn countries? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, I would, I would expect most people um, are willing to help out. Yeah, for sure. What do you think about the UK's response to immigration at the moment? Do you think the government are handling it well? Well, not really. I think we'll be coming over, over uh, run with them. I mean, the more that comes in here, our standard of living goes down. Evidently, they get uh, around hundred pound put shit on electric meters. These who's getting lucky enough to get houses. What, they're getting houses? Right. Those who are lucky enough to, who have been housed, they're getting money put shit on their electric meters. I think it's... On the electric meters? Oh yeah, put, put 90 to 100 pounds shit on for them. I mean, uh, like so we've worked all our lives. I can't go out and just get uh, money put on my electric meter. Where's all the women? They're, they're all young men. They're all 23, 25, 20 year old men. Where's the young women? If they've come from war-torn countries, where are the women? Where are they? It's all young men. What do you think we should be doing differently? <coughs> looking after the buildings, looking after the homeless, looking after the elderly and looking after basically everybody else, not the asylum seekers. Nobody, the bar shouldn't be there in the first place. And if it is there, then absolutely everything should be done so that those people are somewhere safe. What happens if there is a fire? You know? Well, maybe the same thing as Grenville. It'll be in the news for a few days and then the people that did all the damage won't even get mentioned or accused of anything. I pay tax on my pensions. And my pensions are going towards... My tax is going towards these people. Can I say? Totally pissed off, quite honest. We're paying tax. And it's, it's going towards these people. I'm sorry, I'm not a racist. I'm totally, totally not a racist. I've got some very, very good black friends.